But everywhere he looked, there was no sign of Crystal anywhere, and it was already midnight. Now Connor knew it was too dark to find her. I guess I can't look for her around this time at night. Oh well, I might as well wait for tomorrow and search for her again. And so, he set off for home. However, when he made it back to the roundhouse and was about to go onto the turntable, he heard something. Hello? Is anybody in there? Go away! Crystal, it's you, isn't it? Yes, it's me. What do you want now? I've been looking everywhere for you just as Mr. Hildebrand was about to speak to you. Yeah, so what? Hey, don't start with me. I didn't come all this way to make you angry, alright? I came all this way looking for you because I was worried. And not just me, but Mr. Hildebrand was also worried wondering where you are. I don't care what anyone said. I just... <laughs> Look, I understand that you're still angry of what you've done today. But if there's something bothering you, then you can always tell me, and I promise I won't tell anyone I know about this. Believe me. Okay, I'll tell you. But I gotta be honest with you this time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, you see... This is how it all starts back then, when I haven't learned to do any passenger train works in all my life. Oh my. And that's how my old owner won't trust me to do this kind of work anymore. So that's all I've got to say. Well, Crystal, I understand now how you feel when you're that upset, but you know you shouldn't bother running away or listen to what others think about you after what you did in the past and today. Really? Why, sure. Besides, you're not the only one who makes lots of mistakes. Me and my friends make a lot of mistakes also, and so does everyone else all over the world. But that doesn't mean we can give up hope like that easily. But still, what if I make the same mistake if it happens again? Crystal, don't even worry what you did back in the past and today. Besides, even if you didn't succeed the first time, you can always just keep on trying until you get the hang of it. After all, Mr. Hildebrand will always count on you when you try again. Even me also. You really think I can manage that? Even if I make a mistake or two, Connor? Of course I do. You can do it, Crystal. And I know you can, because I believe in you. Thank you so much for that. Well, if you do believe in me, then I'll give it another try. Again, thank you so much, Connor. You are more than welcome, Crystal. <sighs> well, it's really late now, and some of my friends haven't returned home yet, so I guess we'll sleep in the shed tonight until they get back. How about it? <sighs> yeah, you're right. We should get some sleep now. Connor. Good night to you too, Crystal. Well, well, well now. Do I see two love boys in the shed after a good long you know what?
Don't start with that perverted joke, Alex. Oh, come on, dude. I'm just kidding. I mean, can't you just honestly take a joke for once? <clears throat> oh, yeah, and don't forget Mr. Steam-hating handsome right beside me. Oh, and also Bradley, who's okay to talk to as a good diesel. Hey, Connor. Hello, Bradley. Fonsworth. You do realize you're sleeping in our spot. Um, I don't mind. Oh, but I do. Since when was the last time you, Connor, slept in my spot under the sh- <laughs> I saw that! Yeah? Well, you might as well get used to it for all I care. Hmm. Let me think about this. Probably about three to four more times. You know, right after I was introduced in the first episode. But for Crystal, this is her first time. Bradley, check the calendar and see how many times Connor has been sleeping on our spot before Crystal had arrived. Actually, Fonsworth, what Connor said how many times he has been on our spot is true. Three to four more times is the answer. Well, what do you know, Connor? It looks like you've been hogging on our spot luck. <coughs> Say what? It's true, bro. Connor was in the shed about three to four more times, I was in the shed for about 50 times, and you were in the shed about 275 times. That's way too much, bro. Are you specifically sure that you've seriously checked through all the calendars correctly? Dude, don't even think that I'm stupid or something. Of course I freaking checked on the calendar correctly! If you don't believe me, then tell that to the calendar yourself! Just give me that! I'll read it myself. Damn it. If there's only one thing I hate more is losing. <laughs> well, you and Crystal may have won this round, Connor, but mark my words that we diesels are much better than you steamies will ever be. Is he always like that? Trust me. You don't even want to fall for his lies. Excuse me! But in case all of you are finished with this pointless argument, I would like to speak with the announcement and the job instructions, please, and thank you very much. Now then. Before I start with the instructions for one of you, I have an important announcement. Today is the day for the passengers to go on a tourist train, so I'll need a steam engine to take them again. Crystal? Yes, sir? I want you to take the passengers for another train tour again. But this time, try to be more easy on it this time. Actually, sir, can Connor do this for me instead? I don't think I'm quite ready for this. Hmm. I think I will get back to you later. Now then, Connor, your job today is to take a short freight full of general goods to North Battleford. Make sure that they are there by the afternoon, alright? Yes, sir. <laughs> 